All right, guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a raw feeding video for the new subscribers. A few of you have been asking me what sheets and stuff. So yeah, if you find it helpful, subscribe, leave us a comment, and uh, like the video. Test and some diddings and some diddings. We'll take that as a yes. We'll take that as a yes. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll get straight on with it. Basically, right, I buy all this in bulk. I get a 30 chicken quarters. And enough heart and enough, like, pork or beef, whatever, you know, liver, to make up 30 meals. This is all frozen, so I get it all out. Buy it in bulk, chop it up, freeze it. I just get it out daily. So that's just liver. Big lump of liver actually is that's probably too much, but that's heart. That's just basically um, cow's heart. Is that beast heart? She changed. I change her from beast heart, pig's heart, lamb's heart. All gets changed daily, uh, not daily, monthly. So like this month she's on beast heart. Next month she'll be on uh, a mixture of pig's heart and, and uh, lamb's heart. This is just pork chop. But what I've done is I've cut all bone out of it. Don't be giving your dogs pork bones because, uh, especially our chops, the sharp and you know. But this here, that's a chicken quarter, so it's the full leg with spine. I was speaking to somebody the other day, and uh, when I when I was talking about chicken quarters, I thought I literally got a chicken, cut it down the middle, and cut it down the side, right, not middle again, the other way. For um, <laughs> For four quarters out of one chicken, but no, that's that's a chicken quarter. It's just a leg with the the spine attached. So yeah, basically that's that's what she gets. So that's ox liver. I changed that between pig and lamb's liver. The pork. I changed that between pork and beef. Sometimes lamb. If I can get it cheap enough, but yeah, that's ox heart. So I change that between ox heart, pig's heart, lamb's heart, and the chicken, that just stays. So you want to aim for 10% bone, 10% offal, 80% muscle meat. You got, There's a lot of meat on that. The heart, that classes as meat. She could probably do with a bit more, I don't know, a kidney or something like that. But yeah, we, change, we, we also change between liver and kidney as well. All of them like lamb, you know. Pork, beef, kidney, uh, and she's get she gets a bit of fat there, but we do supplement with other stuff as well. So I'll just show you. Okay, so all I've got here is broccoli. It's all wrapped up, you know. I don't bother unwrapping it. All I do is I cut through plastic, cut one one uh, tree off, shall we call it. That's basically double of what she gets, but sometimes she gets a lot, sometimes she don't, you know. That's more than enough. That's half of what I cut off there, but yeah, that's more than enough. That just goes in. These are just sardines. This is in olive oil. You can get it in sunflower oil, olive oil. Just a note on these, you can uh, you can also get them in tomato, tomato juice. Don't give them that because there's a, there's a chemical in tomatoes. It's mostly in the stems, the roots the leaves, unripe tomatoes, but there is also a trace of it in ripe tomatoes as well. I can't remember what the chemical is. If you just have a quick look on Google, it'll tell you. But yeah, that's poisonous to dogs, is that? So we give it in oil. We give her the oil as well, you know. She, she gets this, she gets sardines once every two meals. So she didn't have it yesterday, so she'll be getting it today. Uh, the day before, you get three of these in a tin. And basically that lasts us about a week. So the first first time we open these, I also pour all oil all over, all over the food for her. Uh, she loves it. But yeah, it just gives her that little boost in, uh, you know, all omegas and uh, fatty acids and stuff like that that she might be missing and all this sort of stuff. But yeah, basically that's it. Good meal for a dog is that. So they want, yeah, they want three to four percent body weight in food a day 
she gets th uh, there's there's over a kilogram there, but it, it keeps her healthy enough. You'll get a lot of people that's getting really scientific about so stuff like this. You get it on a lot of these uh, raw feeding groups, you know, where they're trying to um, make sure that the dogs get everything that they need and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, that's fair enough. But you just go by how they are, the condition and stuff. You know, if they if the pool, I go by the uh, pool a lot. So if a pool's runny, she's not getting enough bone. If a pool's really chalky, she's getting too much bone. Um, you know, the fats and stuff like that, if she's putting on too much weight, I just take a little bit of fat out. It's as simple as that, and I just don't give her as much meat, you know. It, there's not really a lot more you can do for her. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, you get a lot of people adding things like carrots and way too much veg and all this sort of stuff, like 50% vegetables and that, you know. Dogs don't eat vegetables, they're carnivores. They really are carnivor carnivorous, and... Uh, Veggies won't do them no good. They, they can't digest it. They've got a digestive system for a carnivore meat eater. The only vegetables they're getting wild, like for wolves and that, is um, vegetables that's inside the intestines of the prey animal. And yeah, they do ingest a little bit of it. That's why, hence the broccoli, you know. Uh, we change the broccoli also for blueberries. We don't give it all at the same time. So it's like once every day or every two days we'll give her some of but yeah, she gets broccoli, cucumber, or blueberries, and that is it. And when that's a blueberry, she gets a little sprinkle, like what, six of them, six blueberries, that'll do. Alright guys, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, just just comment on the video and I'll, I'll answer you. I always do. Alright guys, if you liked it, leave us a, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.